Oh, it was a spellbinder. And I just sent an email to my representatives to stop the 2749 House of Representative bill and S510 uh, bill, the Senate bill for the food safety or is it the unsafety and control bill of the population I wrote this in there and this is what I wrote to them this is what everyone should write to their representatives today I went through downsize uh, organization because they give you a free email so all you do is put in your own words and they give you a start which is the very first line and then you write the rest. Well, this is what I wrote. It says, Please oppose H.R. 2749 and S-510 and all other so-called food safety bills. These bills do nothing good for the small farm. They will hurt the farmer of these small farms. I agree the factory farms must be watched. These factory farms are just like assembly lines and breeds disease. Chickens are raised in cramped conditions like sardines. See the documentary, Food, Inc. On the other hand, small farms allow their chickens to roam the farmyard in the open air and sun and are not given growth hormones to make a chicken who normally takes 90 days to grow to grow in 40 days, so fast that the internal organs and bones can't keep up. I'd rather raise my own chickens or get them from a local farmer than buy at the supermarket. As far as the vegetables are concerned, I'd rather grow my own to be sure they are not GMO by Monsanto, who is one of the main sponsors behind this bill, S510 and others. Monsanto has been wanting a seed monopoly for 30 years. They want to be the only source of seeds in the world. I see that parts of this bill is a scam to control the food, therefore control the population thereof. He who controls the food controls the people and with it the world. I would like to see these GMO scientists have to eat their own or their frankenfoods for a year before testing them on the population at large to see if there's any side effects from them. Put that in the bill. All I ask is leave the small farmer out of this bill. They are not the cause of major outbreaks of disease. It is the factory farms. We have enough control freaks running this country without having any more. Please consider the consequences of this bill we'll have on the small American farmers and the consumers. And that's what I wrote. Now you see. This is what we all need to write. Write something similar to that. Explain to them. They apparently don't understand that this is a control factor over the population. They want to control our food. By controlling the food, they can control us. If you don't, you know, a person with an empty stomach and starving is more willing to do what he's told than a person with a full belly. And they know this. And this is what they're after. This is not America. This is some fascist Soviet type of operation that they want to put on the people of America. They think you're so dumbed down and stupid that you'll just go along with this food safety bill because, hey, the talking heads on MSM tell you so. Say how great it is. We should have this. We should have FDA going out and, and turning farms up, small family farms upside down to find something wrong so they can shut them down. People, you need to write your representatives today and stop this. That's all I really have to say for now. There went my pet, my kitty, called Pukey. But she has this tendency to throw up fur balls. But, the, you know, all cats do that. <laughs> Pukey the cat. Anyways, that's all I have to say for now. I'm going to leave it at that. Write your representative. Stop these bills for food safety that has nothing to do with stopping the factory farms offhand, but stopping the small family farms from operating. I mean, remember, fresh milk is more healthier than pasteurized boiled milk, which that's what pasteurization does, and it, it changes the chemical composition of the milk. I mean, you should know this. Do your research. 
Until next time, this is Spellbinder saying, be good, be good at it, write your representative, stop these bills, good day.